Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. In this session, let us discuss JDK software installation in our Windows OS. In last session, we completed types of Java softwares. We have two types of Java software, JDK JRE and uh, difference between JDK JRE VLAN and the next different environments exist and what Java softwares we have to install those environments old style we discussed and latest modern style we discussed. So, now if you want to continue developing Java applications in your system, you must install JDK software in your system, fine. JDK software installation is just a three step process, it is very very simple. First, you must download latest version from oracle.com site, second click the downloaded installer nothing but exe file to start installation. And third, click the next buttons till installation is completed. That is all, JDK installation is completed. How simple it is? Actually, I no need to explain about JDK software installation here. You know it very well. Uh, in your computer, you have installed very so many softwares. VLC media player you installed, wonderful your favorite software for playing movies and some game softwares you installed. So, you are already, already comfortable, already experienced with installing so many softwares, but uh, whenever you come across JDK software installation, then you started getting fear, oh, how, how, how I should install. Just common sense, ask a question. Installation related work did I done in the previous in my life or not, just ask, that is all. Okay? So, like how you searched your game software or VLC software uh, in Google, Similarly, you also search for JDK software in the Google, Google will take you to the download link, then download JDK and then click on install that is all finished. Shall we do it? Simple three step process. So, let me try to do this work. So, open browser, in browser you search for JDK, mm. look at that, it is showing the options latest version JDK, JDK 8 download you type and then press it JDK 8 download. Then you will be taken to download option hyperlink, first hyperlink you directly click. Then you will be taken to Oracle site, this is the download page. Scroll down, here first you have to click accept license agreement, then only download option will be enabled. Then now they are showing the option, you can now download JDK software. But please try to observe the heading is there not JDK, Java SE development kit 8 update 121. So, when you are installing JDK software, what you are going to get into your computer? Java SE concepts you are going to get. You know very well Java language divided into three concepts, three editions Java SE, Java EE, Java ME. Through JDK software installation, you will get Java SE concepts into your computer, fine. Then now try to understand, here if you carefully observe, we have JDK software hyperlinks, so many are there. Why there are so many are there? JDK software is a platform dependent, right? We will have separate JDK software for each and every OS. We have the JDK software for Linux and we have JDK software for Mac OS and we have JDK software for Solaris, right? And also we have JDK software for Windows. So, we have separate JDK software is available separately for each and every OS. You have to download JDK software and you have to install according to your OS. Of course, I know your OS is Windows OS. But if, we, if you see observe carefully, we have two Windows OS showing here. What is that? Windows x86 and Windows x64. What is the difference between that? If your Windows is 32 bit version, you must download Windows x86. If your Windows is 64 bit version, you have to download Windows x64 based JDK software. Then you may ask me question, how do I know my computer is 32 bit version or 64 bit version? Okay, it is a very simple, simple point, very simple, go to start option or go to computer, right click, 
on a computer icon on desktop or windows explorer on a computer icon right click click on properties here you will observe your windows os system configuration look at that system uh, now uh, here you observe system type system type what it is showing 32 bit that means my computer is 32 bit operating system so i must download and install 32 version based jdk software in your computer if it is showing 64 bit operating system then you have to download install 64 bit fine go back in this window now i have to click on windows x86 uh, please concentrate one minute here it is showing windows jdk 8u121 the current version you are going to download is jdk 8 update 121 by the time you are going to download maybe this update version jdk 8 update version may be coming next versions like 122 123 no problem download and follow the same procedure or maybe latest next version may come jdk 9 also may come so just download and follow the same procedure the point you have to worry before installing jdk is you are downloading for windows 32 bit version or 64 bit version that is only the point you have to observe my system is 32 bit i am clicking jdk for windows x86 click look at this down corner left uh, left down corner jdk software download is started here based on your internet speed it will take few minutes wait till download completed yes download is completed now you just click on this download option here just you, you double uh, just click it the moment you click this uh, uh, download link then pop up message pop up window will be coming click yes button now installation window started now click on this next button okay the moment you click on this next button please try to observe here it is showing jdk software is going to install in this particular path i want install jdk software not in this program files java because we are going to develop java programs in edit plus in future at the minute this space is going to create some problem for us and not only that if install jdk software inside program files java folder uh, some configuration while doing configuration this lengthy path you have to type just by installing java software jdk software you cannot use you have to do some configurations after installation so those configurations while we are doing this lengthy lengthy path typing is very tough that's why i want you also install jdk software directly in a c drive for that let us try to do one small work watch here click on this change button then edit mode will be coming here carefully remove program files slash java slash so make sure your path should be appeared as c colon slash jdk now click ok button then the path is coming and uh, saving here correctly observe and now click on next button the moment you click on next button installation will be started in cjdk we will go to cjdk folder and we will watch what is happening okay click on next button then open windows explorer go to c drive and bring your windows i mean installation window here observe currently there is no jdk folder here now this installation window background has created jdk folder did you observe inside jdk folder now all the required files and files and folders are copying watch it's slowly extracting installer all the files are copying it's good you have to watch in your system also like this did you observe here while you are installing jdk software it also installed jre you are installing jdk but also jre installed do you remember jdk architecture jdk internally contains development tools like a compiler 
plus also JRE na. So, when you install JDK, JRE is also installed that is why JRE folder came here ok. Observe here after JDK installation completed, now the installer is also prompting you to install JRE software again. What is the difference between here already JRE installed this JRE and again installing JRE where the JRE installing under program files. So, what is the difference between the JRE install inside JDK folder and again one more time installing JRE very simple. The JRE install in JDK is called private JRE and the JRE installing in uh, external of JDK it is called public JRE ok. Now, what is the difference between private JRE and public JRE simple one word difference. Private JRE used for executing our standalone applications. There are two types of applications standalone application and applet programs. Standalone applications to execute we will use private JRE. Whenever a applet program is a downloading from the network into your computer uh, to run that applet program browser software will use this public JRE. Okay. Browser software will use this public JRE, this public JRE is also called as Java plugin, Java plugin ok. So, for running applet programs this public JRE is required. Of course, already told in the last session nowadays applet programs we are not using in place of the HTML we are using, but still let it continue installing it is not a problem directly click on next button do not change any path. So, that JRE public JRE install. Please watch this JRE window installation window is clearly telling Sun Microsystem through this window they are clearly telling Java is using in 3 billion devices, 3 billion devices run Java. So, Java is how much powerful please try to think Java is there everywhere in the world because you choose in Java as your platform development platform. So, your life is going to become wonderful happy life you are going to get and a successful life you are going to get. So, in future now if you want to move from one technology current Java platform to some other technology like data science or Hadoop or whatever yes you can easily move because every technology is now building on top of Java only as Java is this much powerful. So, you are going to have wonderful career please continue in Java platform. After JRE installation completed please try to observe here there is a one JRE.exe is available this JRE.exe is removed from here this is public JRE installation purpose copied here. After this JRE installation that is removed please try to watch yes public JRE installation is completed. So, JRE.exe will be removed please observe did you observe JRE.exe file is removed and final window has opened for us. You can click on close to complete installation, but before that please look at here there is a button called next steps. What are the next steps? Click next steps what is there? Click next steps to access tutorials, API documentation, developer guides, release notes and more to help you get started with the JDK. So, you wanted to start learning Java by yourself after installing JDK you want to develop applications if you wanted to learn Java by yourself. In that case you can access Sun Microsystem given tutorials and Java API documentation by clicking on this next steps. So, click on the next steps and you can observe yourself and now click close button JDK software installation is complete ok. It is a very simple process JDK software installation just to download JDK from oracle.com site and then further double click on that exe installer file and then click next buttons before installation started change the path and make sure installing JDK inside C drive directly. That is all about this session JDK software installation. Now, in the next session we will try to understand what are the different folders this JDK software contains and what is the use of each and every folder and file what is the purpose of them. If you know the JDK software folder structure and its information then configuring Java software in your computer and accessing Java software files from all your computer is possible. Just by installing JDK you cannot compile and execute your Java programs directly you have to do some configurations. Before moving to configurations you should get some idea on JDK folder structure ok that we will discuss in next session. Thank you for watching this video subscribe to Nareshati channel for more videos updates notifications. Thank you see you in the next session.